Hit up Rose NBA on Twitter. If you need any sort of grind, he will be the man for you. Domination, Spotlight Sims, My Team Unlimited, and even more. The link to his Twitter will be down below in the description. Yo, what is good, yo? It's your boy Ty back here with another video. And in this video today, we are going to be doing new limited reward invincible Tony Kukoc gameplay. And I shout out to my guy Kirill for letting me hop on his account to make this gameplay possible. If you aren't sure how to get Tony, you do have to get the three limited rings so obviously you have to play three consecutive weekends in which my man's did he did secure the three win rings now i played one game on my account wasn't able to get the ring and then i just hopped over to his account to get you guys the gameplay as quickly as possible now before we dive any deeper on into this video if you could smash that like button it helps with youtube's kind of algorithm and i would appreciate that a lot as well as smash that subscribe button as we are on the road to 80,000 subscribers tony here we all know he's an invincible card six foot ten 192 pounds we all know how i feel about his player build upper nine either 98 or 99 in every stat you could ask for badge wise literally perfect no steady on the card so that's something something you are going to have to add if you do play on next gen i actually think tony's going to be better on next gen than current gen too so we'll get you kind of a shoot around on both gens but even on current gen i think tony has a capability i wish he could play shooting guard but even with that i still think he has the capability to be an absolutely incredible addition to your squad Looking at my man's Tony in shoot around here, the first thing is just his player build. Honestly, I don't know if it, if it's better than his last card, but it doesn't look like he's 192 pounds, whatever that means. I'm not exactly sure, but his player build does look better. That's the first thing that I've noticed when I'm doing a, a shoot around with the card. Release wise, his upper is not something I love, but again, he does have the Ray Allen base, which is just absolutely fantastic. But his, his upper, as far as Ray Allen base, is one of the worst in the game. I'm just going to put that out there. It just is. I love the Ray Allen base on current gen, but his upper just kind of throws me off. It throws me for a loop every time I shoot with the card. But you guys are seeing, I'm still greening the majority of my shots with the card. And that's really what you want. You want a guy with Tony. On offense, I mean, can he create? Probably. But he's just going to sit there and shoot the ball. It's really what he's going to give you on the offensive end. Obviously, you hope he can give you just that little bit more, maybe attacking the rim, doing what he needs to do right there with the showtime slam. And then defensively, 6'10 at the small forward position, you have some high hopes. But shooting wise, I'm not necessarily sure about the upper release. Everything else seems fine, has a decent enough behind the back, great tween. He's looking very solid. So looking at Tony here on next gen, honestly, where I think he's going to be even better is on the next gen console, just because obviously release is incredible. But then you even, okay, I got to turn that shot meter off. But it goes as far as to release, kind of player build, all that matters on next gen. Just that little bit more. And I think Tony's release is better on next gen than current gen too. I like the Kawhi base, but there's something about his upper on current gen I just am unsure about. And maybe it's going to be the same thing on, on next gen. Maybe his upper is just going to be something I can't get behind. Now, for everybody, the majority of you guys watching this video, I don't know if it's going to be that big of a deal. I just can't green with him right now. Give me one. Thank you. I'm slightly late with you, and I'm usually never slightly late with anybody on next gen, so it's probably a B problem, honestly. Green, there you go. I just got to release it that little bit earlier than I might think. There we go. Finally getting that release down. It's very quick for a release on next gen. That's the first thing I want to say for next gen release. He's got a very quick one. Let's see the behind the back there. Okay. You're hooping, Tony. I see you, big bro. Oh, yeah. Hit him with a curry into a green. Late again. I hate being slightly late. I'm not used to that on next gen. I'm always slightly early, I feel like. So I do like his release. That's the one thing I will say. And I'm glad I'm slightly late. I actually am glad just because that means his release is actually kind of quick. So I'm actually glad I'm slightly late. The fact that he's 6'10", has a kind of slim player build. And I feel like defensively, he's going to be solid. On next gen, I feel like Tony Kukoc is going to be absolutely incredible. Better than Danny Ferry. On next gen, I would say probably I'm going to give the slight edge probably to Tony just because the Kawhi base or the Ray Allen base is, in my opinion, just as good, if not better than the base 98 on next gen. On current gen, we'll see how Tony Kukoc is compared to the Danny Ferries of the world. My buddy, you're running Havlicek, Andre Kirilenko, Danny Ferry, James Wiseman, and Simbular. Not a bad lineup. If you really think about it, I don't know about Honda. We'll see how good he can use it. Let's go, man. I'm excited. The free limited reward that can hoop like Tony. I'm excited because I don't necessarily think he's going to be the best small forward in the game. But when we're just talking about guys that can get it done. I think you can plug him into any type of a squad and he's going to be able to get the job done. That's a good shot. We're good. That's a tough shot. It's too deep, though. Grab the ball. Good board. Good board. 
Good board. Green? Mm, that's a good deal. Oh my goodness, Tony. I say you already. That's a lightly. I swear the last Tony was just skinnier. Let me reset. Come back. Come here. Green. There it is, Tony. That's the one I was waiting for. That one felt smooth. Obviously, the green light, the green light was really what I was waiting for. This dude's really trying to cook me with Hondo. Yeah, that's what I thought. Put it down, little bro. Oh, yeah, Tony. Where we at? Ah. Bro, I, I know he got blocked right there. Y'all see him move, though? He's moving right now. And I, I'm not one to really move that like that with many players, but he is moving right now. Come here. Check two. I gotta green that. The more I use him, the more I'm I'm getting used to that upper though. You shot that? What in the shot selection? Who wants a Krabby Patty at three in the morning? Oh boy, 3 a.m. <laughs> That's a crab. And Cool Coach is looking tough right now. He just grabbed one of the best defensive players in all of 2K in Andre Kirilenko. He's looking tough. Just movement wise, that's it. I don't really move that well with that many players, but movement wise, Cool Coach is looking tough right now. Now go back court. Thank you. Thank you. That's showtime too. Yes, sir. Y'all see who's got to take. I don't want to overstate it already, but man, he's looking good. I need some defense from you. He is just hoping right now. I did not like the, I did not like, I think it was the Galaxy Opal Tony when he came out. But this Dark Matter Invincible Tony is just looking like the best. Oh my goodness. And every shot I shoot, I know what color it's going to be. I know it's going to be green. And my opponent that I'm playing, I want you guys to know, is not bad. Like, objectively, I promise you he is not bad at this game. Chill. Look at Bailout. Look at Bailout. I mean, yeah, he can do it all. You see the Bailout badge on display, too. Ah, oh, that's late. That's me. That did not deserve to go in. I was way, 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 way too late on that shot. No way. 21 board. Yep, we're going too. And one. Good call, ref. It's a great foul call. I got bailed out, but that's just how you have to contest Tony. This dude names his twos and a few. Yeah, that's back. Court, my ball. Yeah, not yours. It's my ball. Thank you. Give me the rock. Y'all know who's getting the ball. Y'all know who's getting the rock. Showtime me. Showtime me. Hey, uh, showtime me. Showing off the athleticism for Tony as well. I don't know about that dunk animation. That's a great pass. It's a great play. Mobley, I need it. Good shot. I got a green with you, but that's a great, great move and a great shot. Chill. Great shot, Mobley. Can I green with you, though? I'm slightly late again with you. Snatch coming. I know. I know. <laughs> Trust me. I know. I've seen that move a hundred times. That was a hundred and one. And I picked your pocket. That's bad at the same time. Krabby Patty. He's so chick. Any opportunity he's got, I don't know what it is. I swear his release is better too.
Throw it into the big fella. I'm not going to be selfish. Are you kidding me? Why would I be selfish with Tony? The dude is hoping right now. I mean, you look at the halftime box score. 35 points, one rebound, six assists, one turnover. He's missed one shot. We did get a quit in the third quarter, but man, Tony really led the way in that first half. I have a hard time for about any squad in the game telling you guys Tony is not worth the grind for you. Because here's my thing. I think Danny Ferry at the at the small four position, the Dark Matter Danny Ferry is the top two or three card at that position. Now, do I think it's the same thing for Tony? I absolutely do. I, I, it's hard for me to sit here and tell you definitively that Tony is not as good as Danny Ferry. I can't do that. I, I just can't, especially with the player model they gave Tony, the stats, the badges. You guys know I prefer actually the, the, the Ray Allen base. It's easier to green than the base 98. I don't know between these two cards. I really don't. So for me to tell you that Tony is not worth the grind considering he's a free card, well, I would just be lying to you if I told you that. So I'm a big fan of Tony Kukoc. 100% worth getting if you do have the two rings already. I don't see why you would not get him. And he is a top small forward power forward in all of 2K, whether you are on current gen or next gen. I actually think he's going to be better on next gen. And you guys saw how good he is on current gen. The dude is absolutely fantastic. But that is going to wrap it up for the video today, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy it. Drop a like on the video, subscribe if you are new, and as always, man, I love you guys, and have a blessed day.